Tip top trippers, hello everybody and welcome back to Marathon Monday video. Yes, it's 10 weeks to the big one. And thanks to Neil Talbot to alerting me that not only is it London Marathon and Chester Marathon on the 2nd of October, it's also Loch Ness Marathon, yeah, the biggest of them all. So thank you, Neil, for alerting us about that. If you are new here, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave in the comments below, how is your training going? Whether you're training for a marathon or whatever you're doing around the world, let me know in the comments below what's happening. So without further ado, let's go. Welcome back, one and all, welcome back. Yes, it's Marathon Monday, 10 weeks to the big one. Yes, Neil, I did love that comment about the Loch Ness Monster. I've got to give a big thank you to so many of you. I can't remember all your names because for me, my training, what's happening right now, if you've been following me for the past number of weeks, months you'll know that i had surgery a couple of weeks ago so the recovery thumbs up seems to be going well i'm getting my walks in the walks are getting easier they're getting mildly quicker not that i'm racing yeah but uh, can you race walk no anyway so you've been seeing me filming and uh, doing all this i have been getting out volunteering at the park runs as well which is fantastic and that's where i've got to give a big thank you and shout out to a lot of you guys i can't remember everyone everyone's names so apologies for that but i do remember there was a couple from kenilworth a chat from ross on why and then many locals from in and around worcester who were coming over to say hello and check how i was which is really kind of you and some wanting photos i felt a bit like a, a film star at times but uh, but it's so nice seeing uh, so many of you wishing me well in person i really do appreciate that it really does show how kind and loving you all are those you watch some some of you comment some don't it doesn't matter whether you comment or not and giving the thumbs up whatever subscribing what really does matter is that we're all having a good time so many of you i mean you all give it some in those park runs yeah and give it max effort it's just fantastic so but it's all about enjoyment isn't it enjoying what we do and for me last week as part of the progress you would have seen I've now launched my uh, fundraising um, campaign, whatever you want to call it, fundraising page for um, Dementia UK. So please do, I've put a, a link in the uh, description below, please do um, help support, support us in some way. So I'm running it in memory of my aunt Carmela, who sadly passed away last year in that time of London Marathon in October last year. But um, in celebration of her life i just wanted to run this london marathon for her so please do click on the link and uh, support us in whatever way you can i really do appreciate that 10 weeks to go i know crunch time crunch time for those you've been following i'm going to say if you've been following a 16 week plan you've been going for six weeks it's now getting into the sharp edge of the training yeah we're now going to start progressing into Ooh, how can I put it, you know, the meaty bit, yeah, the meaty bit, the chunky bit, the, the hard stuff, however you want to call it, yeah, this is where the real metal comes in, and that's why I posted those videos in terms of easy runs being easy, and also the last Friday fundamentals of, which was the three hour rule, yeah, don't forget that guys so I appreciate people say that they plot their routes based on distances and whatever but everybody who's gone back through their uh, old training runs will find that it's uh, around three hours it might be a, a few minutes over I did do one where I did fatigue quite a lot um, it was literally the day after I landed from uh, LA I oh, know name dropping so yeah, I'd flown back from Los Angeles and the following day I had a long run and I properly fatigued and I think I ended up doing three hours 45. I did walk a lot in that one towards the end because the form had gone and that's the key thing to be looking at in our long run. So go back to those two Friday fundamentals, the uh, three hour rule and easy runs being easy. Follow those two key principles for your long runs because the long runs are the cornerstone of our marathon training and you'll be fine trust the process follow the process and i always say the get out clause at any point when you are running is walk yeah if you ever feel anything hurting or whatever or you're feeling too fatigued or you feel your form's going walk there's no shame in that you know like i'm doing now i don't feel 
any, you know, we see people on social media really larging it up when they're not able to run or this or that. For me, it's part of my process, part of my recovery process. I accept that, I frame that, and my mind deals with it. So I don't have an issue walking, yeah? In fact, I love walking. Uh, I may not cover as much distance as I do in running, but it's time on feet. It's the time on feet that is critical. You got it, guys? So as I approach, the stone circle here in my park, you might have seen this in other videos if you are watching them regularly, yes. The stone circle, my conclusion for this in terms of 10 weeks to go, trust the process. It's a bit like the circle of life, as they say, yeah? Oh, getting proper philosophical here. So as I, as I have a sit down on this stone circle, It'd be interesting if I could sit down on the uh, Stonehenge stone circle, but that's uh, another story, hey? High security and all that. But um, follow the process, trust the process. Yeah, you've got this. I know you've got it, yeah? As I mentioned, leave in the comments below how you're all getting on with your training. Let's say 10 weeks, it's still a long way out. If you've got any niggles or stuff going on, don't worry about it, don't panic. 10 weeks is a long way, that's why for me, whilst I'm recovering from surgery, I'm not in any panic of, of this. I'm trusting the process. I've listened to the doctors. They've said how long it takes to recover. I'm following that process. I'm not gonna veer away from it. You know, it's, it's still tender down there, shall we say, um, you know, and, and I'm very squeamish of my own blood. Whilst I've, I'm uh, a first aider, qualified first aider, and I used to be a NHS nurse long, long ago in a galaxy far, far away. I don't mind treating other people, but for some reason I'm quite squeamish of my own stuff. So um, seeing all the, the scars and bruises and stuff down there doesn't really uh, make me feel good. But hey, that's just me. You know, we're all different. So um, I'm not panicking, yeah? And whatever happens, happens. Yeah, we trust the process, go with the flow. And uh, and I love the fact, as I say, going back to the you guys that I saw at the uh, park run who came up to say hello, having photos, chats, it's fantastic, you know, and for that gentleman in ross on Wye, can't remember your name, they cancelled Newport Marathon, which is a bit of a bummer, but he immediately booked Abingdon Marathon, which is a fantastic race. Back in the day, when we didn't have all these massive races everywhere or whatever, back in the day, Abingdon was the one where the elite runners used to go to, to get their good for age qualifier for London. Yeah, it'd often be the one where there'd be a cut-off time you could uh, qualify for London, and that would be the one. There is a stadium finish. If it is following the same route, it always has. It is a stadium finish. It's fantastic. I've not done it myself, but it's super flat. Super flat. So uh, I know you'll have a great time, and I'm very confident you will get your GFA place for London, and I look forward to seeing you at London next year. Hopefully, we'll both get our GFA places. But yeah, I digress. I love you guys. I love you coming back each and every time watching these videos, leaving the comments. So many of you leave some wonderful long, long comments and really thought out processes and showing their views. And a lot of you in this community will read that, may not comment back or give thumbs up or whatever, but I know you're there reading them because the stats show me there's a lot of you guys do uh, come and watch these uh, videos and watching the, all the way through, which is fantastic because we are coming towards the end here. Give yourself a medal if you've watched this all the way towards the end. Yeah, seeing this lovely stone circle, lovely park here in Worcester. And to cap off in Worcester, Friday, did you see my Queen's baton relay at the Commonwealth? I mean, I had an absolute blast and thanks to all the uh, security and press guys who let me get up close and personal so I could show you, you know, right in there, in the thick of it, the baton relay going around Worcester. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. It's fantastic, absolutely loved it. And I am super pumped and excited to be next week, a week Sunday, I'll be at my first uh, event over at Smithfield Markets in Birmingham, where I'll be at the beach volleyball. Yeah, I know, <laughs> beach volleyball. But also at that venue, there's a 3x3 basketball. And I think Saturday, this coming Saturday, is the start of the marathon. So if you're out there watching the marathon around the Birmingham area, have a great time. I'd love to hear from you. Are you going to be at the Commonwealth? Leave it in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you at the next Monday Marathon Monday, where it will be nine weeks to go. I know we're getting into single digits soon. Love you all guys, take care, and whatever you are, whatever you do, stay safe and enjoy the running.